Lawyers ask EFCC to arrest probe Lagos Speaker Obasa over corruption allegation. Sahara Reporters has, in a series of reports, revealed how Obasa and his allies in the House appropriated public funds to personal accounts illegally. The Coalition of Public Interest Lawyers and Advocates has asked the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to probe allegations of financial impropriety and grant corruption against Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa. Sahara Reporters has, in a series of reports, revealed how Obasa and his allies in the House appropriated public funds to personal accounts illegally. Copa, in a statement, on Sunday signed by its national coordinator, Pelumi Ola Jengbesi, and Chairman Anti-Corruption Network, Patrick Odi, said, the EFCC must live up to its responsibility of probing allegations of corruption against public servants without being reminded. The statement reads, it is a gross understatement to proceed with the reminder that the EFCC, an anti-graft institution, is statutorily bound to investigate and cause a prosecution into all and any action involving public stealing, looting, and or other financial crimes, especially amongst public officers who hold in equity the keys to the vault of the commonwealth of our society. And we hereby demand that EFCC should live up to its foundation objectives. Lagos Assembly Speaker Mudashir Obasa has in recent weeks come under intense public scrutiny and opprobrium over severe allegations of the abuse of his office to loot the treasury of Lagos State dry. And some of these allegations are reproduced here under for immediate action by the EFCC. That Honorable Obasa approved the sum of 258 million naira for the printing of invitation cards for the inauguration of lawmakers two months after the event had been held in a document titled Celebrations and Ceremonies and dated August 7th, 2019 for the inauguration of the Knights Assembly with 34 returning members and six new members, which held on June 7, 2019. That Honorable Obasa allegedly fraudulently approved for himself the sum of 17 million naira as monthly maintenance allowance for his personal residence and guest house, while also exploiting his position as Speaker of the House of Assembly, Lagos State, to cross the sum of 10 million naira to be paid to his wife on a fictitious initiative. That the sum of 58 million naira was also allegedly cleverly misappropriated by Honorable Obasa from the Lagos State coffers to fund a private trip and spree to the United States of America with his mistress. So paragraphs 1 to 3 above detail gross criminal allegations, which call for the most urgent attention by Nigerians go to anti graft agency. The EFCC, whose foot dragging or reluctance to act may very well defeat the purpose of its creation and further reward a highly suspect case of theft of public resources while casting aspersions on the integrity of the agency. Their affairs in the public space. Since the unfolding revelations into Obasa Gate, so termed that his affiliation to state.
state and federal powers, particularly his membership of the ruling party, may tilt events in his favor, as such persons are habitually conceived as sacred cows beyond the punitive reach of the law. Copa would like to borrow its confidence to EFCC to treat as urgent and with no considerations for the person involved the allegations which has been leveled against Honorable Obasa as it borders on betrayal of public confidence, abuse of official power, outright corruption, and the embezzlement of public fund for private use. Such allegations strongly question the morality and integrity of the Lagos State Speaker, and only a thorough investigation and perhaps a prosecution on available facts can fairly provide him with the opportunity to clear his name if possible. Copper said the EFCC must arrest Obasa and probe the allegations failure of which will force the group to take legal action against the anti-graft agency. We demand the immediate arrest, investigation and consequent prosecution of Honorable Orbasa. Lagos State Assembly Speaker for gross misconduct in office, economic crime, fraud and extortion of state resources. No stones must be left unturned, as only a thorough and impartial investigation into the downing allegations against the Speaker, whose dishonorable actions may have further impoverished the state and starved other areas of government interventions of fund, can acquit this agency and satisfy public outcry for justice. Take notice that if EFCC should fail to accede to our demand within a reasonable time, we shall leverage on our reach with the civil society groups within and without, and exert all media and legal means to compel the Commission to discharge its statutory duty in respect of this demand. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? It is really, really sad and unfortunate that uh, the Lagos State House of Assembly is enmeshed, or the Speaker, as it were, is enmeshed in this kind of allegation and uh, of corruption and uh, you know economic crime. But I fear to say that he might just go scot free and go and go uh, away with it because he belongs to the ruling party, the APC. Let's not forget that he probably might have been installed there by the so-called um, Jagaban Bolatinubu and with the influence of Tinubu, Obasa might just, you know, enjoy his time and nothing might be done against him. Don't forget that this is the same speaker that was, you know, calling for the probe of um, the former Lagos State Governor, Ambody. Now, let's take a cue from uh, recent happenings or what has been happening in the past. How, has EFCC investigated Bola Tinubu on the issue of the bullion van prior to the election? No. Then why? The EFCC came out to tell us that there were uh, nobody has uh, written investigation or what have you. At least to the very, um, to the very extent that. Uh, uh, Activist um, Deji Adenyeju wrote a petition submitted to the EFCC, which was acknowledged, received and acknowledged, but still up till date, the EFCC has refused to launch an investigation or, you know, call uh, Bola Tinubu for any questioning or explanation. The truth means that these guys, you know, they know what they're doing. Let's not forget that Oshimole was said in one of their rallies, prior to the 2019 general election, that if you decamp to APC, your sins will be forgiven. Which was what led to Ojiz Okalu's decamping to APC and Akpabio. So the APC has a way 
they seem to be a cult. They have a way of actually shielding their members from uh, uh, prosecution. Let's not fall into the trap or into the uh, belief that uh, Buhari is not corrupt, Buhari is not this, is not that, and everything. I stand to be corrected. All those are just uh, media wash, if you ask me. How can the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly be enmeshed in this kind of um, allegation and atrocities? Ordinarily, he should be able to clear his name. And our constitution should be made in such a way by if you have any issue and uh, once the, uh, the, the, the corruption agency or whatever have you know, come out to look for you, then you should go and sort out yourself before you return back to office. But before you know it now, they'll be claiming immunity this, immunity that, and all what have you. And before you know it, events will happen and this case will just die a natural death. A lot of cases have actually happened like that. So it's really, really sad and unfortunate that we cannot, you know, trust uh, agencies or anti-graft agencies to actually do their job as at when due and also come out with uh, a um, favorable uh, results as it were. But be that as it may, I stand to be corrected, but to a very large extent, I just believe that nothing might come out of this issue. I stand to be corrected. Well, it is what it is, guys. Drop out in the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I would like you to please hit on the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.